seems like he's done something that CNN will agree with. Oh, wait a second, it's CNN. A week later, how paid family leave hurts women. <laughs> Donald Trump could cure cancer, and CNN would run a story about how cancer centers are losing funding under this fascist administration. A lot of memes out there about getting into political arguments with your family members over the holidays, Thanksgiving just passed, Christmas parties and get-togethers are happening earlier and earlier every year, it seems, and I am not better than you. So because of that, I had an argument with my family members, and one of the things we got into was about Fox News. What I said was, I made the claim, the statement even, that Fox News is objectively better and more fair than the other major mainstream news networks. Now, I was hit back with, hasn't Fox had to admit to these things? Aren't they entertainment? Uh, haven't they been sued? Well, of course they have. They've all been sued. CNN, NBC, ABC, of course, burying the Epstein story. They've all got things that horribly discredit them. And I'm not saying that mainstream media as a whole is good. CNN doxing the Trump uh, meme kid, for example. Sending people to old ladies' house in search of these ridiculous things. Um, to, my, to which my uncle said to his credit that CNN's not that much better. But I think that like them, I used to have this idea uh, that Fox was above and beyond the most propagandist of them and the most, uh, the biggest liars of all of them. And this was just, this is just hearsay, of course, and it was at the time. And it's all from what other people show you. Isn't it Fox is ter is it Fox terrible? Here's a clip, and it's all from other news sources trying to trying to discredit discredit them. But until you actually watch it and compare it to the other networks and watch them all, I don't think it's possible really to understand how much the wool has been pulled over your eyes. Do people still use that uh, phrase? I'm not sure. I can remember the exact time that it happened to me. It was actually in the com the wonderful world that is the comment section of WorldStarHipHop.com, where I said, "How do people actually?" Uh, watch Fox News and think it's legitimate and somebody replied with I used to be the same way until I actually watched it and realized it's actually better than the rest of them I know you're not gonna believe me and that person who was probably uh, 10 minutes away from making a super racist comment against white people or black people because that's that's all it is <laughs> it's a very um, diverse and equal opportunity to get called uh, racist slurs on world star hip-hop <laughs> uh, but to be fair, I don't like most of Fox News. I don't like Shepard Smith, even though he's gone anymore. He's gone now. And I don't like their flagship news broadcast, which, by the way, CNN doesn't have. It's just all personalities all the time whom I happen to disagree with. So I'll say 99% of all the personalities on all the other networks I disagree with and find them to be misleading or at least uh, too partisan, whereas, let's say... On Fox, it's only 90% of them I disagree with. And add the fact that Fox actually has on people from the other side who will challenge them and who pertain to be, you know, thought leaders on their side. Whereas on CNN would never have anyone notable uh, who disagree with them besides maybe Kelly on Kellyanne Conway. For example, you won't see Candace Owens on Don Lemon. That would be too difficult for him. You won't... You will only see people who come on and who are safe to disagree with. Uh, they may disagree with many things that you say in the political establishment Overton window. That is the things that they think it's okay to talk about. But they're not going to bring anyone who's anyone on who's going to be uh, destroying them, getting some thug life moments out of them, and embarrassing the network. It's usually one of those four on thing, four on one things which is actually what my case was over the holidays. So you might have some questions about these headlines I'm about to show you, and I'll try to answer them. A lot of these are very close in the date of publication, and some just are there to juxtaposition the story um, and how they're positioned in, in different times and for different people, depending on what the story is. Now, I thought the best thing to do was compile these, leave it for like a week or two, and then come back to get a more uh, natural reaction, because I don't remember most of them, frankly. I just saved them all and put them on this list with a description. We'll start with that stupid Trump balloon, if you recall that, uh, that people cared way too much about. Metro UK, July 2018. Trump's going to have to look at his baby blimp self when he comes to visit. Ha, ha, ha. August. So very likely the same social media person putting this stuff up, flying the Sadiq Khan balloon, which is far more detailed, by the way. It's not an exercise of free speech. It is a party for bigots. Trump balloon. Now that's funny. Mayor of the capital city of your own country. Oh, bigot. You guys. Am I right? Hashtag am I right. 
Huffington Post, March 18th, 2016. If you judge people for how they like their steak, you might be a Trump supporter. Okay. I don't really see the correlation. But wait a minute. Three days earlier, Donald Trump prefers a steak well done, a.k.a. the worst possible way. Where is the editor on this? You can't, like, whether you agree or not, you got to have some consistency, editor guy. Or lady. Wow, I, you know I haven't done the Alex jones impression in a while when my voice comes out like that he hasn't been doing the impression the deep state got to him they told him to stop doing the impression stop pushing alex jones rhetoric don't worry they keep getting better and better here's a tale of cnn in three acts april 4th 2017 everyone should have a shot at paid family leave very reasonable six weeks later may 22nd trump's budget to include paid family leave oh seems like he's done something that cnn will agree with oh wait a second it's cnn a week later how paid family leave hurts women <laughs> donald trump could cure cancer and cnn would run a story about how cancer centers are losing funding under this fascist administration now that's the original joke that i left in there but i swear to god this next part i didn't prepare in advance i wrote that down the cancer joke which sounds terrible when you say you wrote down a cancer joke and then i thought well trump actually has a big thing about stopping opio opioid deaths so as you can see on your screen here i googled why trump is wrong about opioids and the top two results as Trump claims credit for decline in opioid deaths, others see signs of danger ahead. And the other one from Newsweek, Trump admin tackling wrong problems on opioid overdoses, says bioethicist who became dependent on prescriptions. I kid you not that these are real. The first one goes into talking about how Trump is yet to nominate a new leader for the DEA, and the other one blasts him for not being thoughtful enough about people who are chronic pain patients. You wouldn't have to make this kind of trade-off with a more thoughtful policy. It's insanity. Ending a drug overdose epidemic. Not being thoughtful enough. Now, you know CNN sources, how they never name them and how they're pretty much never correct. They're never right, so people don't really think that they exist. They're probably just Mark, <laughs> not Mark Zuckerberg, sorry. He tried to throw him under the bus uh, subliminally, I guess, there. Jeff Zucker, the president, probably he's just the source saying, just run the story. June 6th, 2017, sources tell CNN, Comey to testify he never told Trump he was not under an FBI investigation. That's a lot of negatives in there. The very next day, Comey told Trump he was not under investigation directly. Just go with whatever, whatever is most damaging to Trump and no one will really care. They'll forget about it. That was another thing I actually argued about with my family. Uh, my cousin said, didn't Fox have to admit that they're propaganda and admit that they were wrong about this and say that this wasn't actually true? You mean they corrected a factual... St you mean they corrected something that they got wrong? This is your complaint, that Fox News corrected something, and uh, a factual error. Has CNN ever corrected anything? Have they ever admitted to anything? Have any of the mainstream media companies other than Fox ever actually done anything other, th other than set out... Uh, send out a 3 a.m. tweet correcting a story that gets no play whereas like you see these comparisons where the original fake news story gets 300,000 retweets and the correction gets like 10,000 because they don't care because they don't push that at all they don't want to tell people that they're wrong which is fine I guess the steel dossier their doxing the whole Russia investigation no apologies from that I'm actually starting to think this is going to need a part two. This is because I'm like a third through them. This is getting long. You might be saying, though, Andrew, um, you're really good looking <laughs> to, to begin with. How is it that you are? Uh, but also that these don't actually have the same authors. And while CNN obviously only really has one viewpoint, uh, that's not good enough for me. Different people have different opinions, if you want to believe that. Uh, I don't. But uh, we've got you covered for that anyways. Uh, Kazur Khan. Father of deceased Muslim soldier gives remarks to the DNC. Kazir Khan's not, words not to be forgotten. July 29, 2016, for the Rachel Maddow show. That's what I was wondering why his religion matters, because it's on MSNBC. But wait, 10 days before that, author Steve, you said of Pat Smith, mother of Benghazi victim, Sean Smith was speaking at the Republic Convention. RNC manipulates the pain of a grieving mother for partisan gain. For partisan gain, he says. <laughs> How sweet of him. Same author. Uh, completely different thing. Re uh, religion doesn't matter in the other one when it's about the Republicans. How strange that is. Yeah, we're going to need a part two of this, I think. Uh, this is getting long. So let's do one more.
I think. There's others I want to do here, but here's a good one to leave you at. Uh, this is Jessica Valenti from The Guardian, I believe. A uh, very nice girl. Let's not jump to any conclusions here. She might surprise us. Surely she won't let us down. The end of hisses, whistles, and stares. We need to walk the streets without fear. Two-thirds of women have been sexually harassed for just being in public. Now something has to be done. Now, I don't think that would legally fall under harassment, but let's just trust her here. Let's not look at the bottom. Let's trust her. She's probably on to something. One year later, men rarely catcall me anymore. I hate that our culture makes me miss it. <laughs> to my great shame, the thought of not being worth men's notice bothers me. Not being worth men's notice bothers me. She's uh, one of the Beatles now. That's for some reason what I went to when I thought of British. Even though I'm a seasoned feminist and I know better. A seasoned feminist. <laughs> I wonder if she made it to the feminist all-star game. Is that something? The feminist pro bowl? She's out there. Uh, 32 converted non-cat calls. Uh, she's been having a great season, Jim. She's diverted 32 cat calls. Um, she's managed to tell off five guys at the gym for looking at her and only posted a record of 300 ass selfies on Instagram. She's one of the highest rated feminists in that field. No feminist has been able to get under the 300 mark in the past five years. She's gone straight to the Pro Bowl for this one. <laughs> I think we are out of time, though. Check out the links in the description, patreon.com slash Andrew Says. Uh, check out the Vesby app. Download that on mobile. I'm on there. There's some exclusive stuff for me on there and more succinct versions of what I'm saying. If you want shorter videos, YouTube's for longer videos. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. Peace out from your favorite seasoned feminist. Mm -hmm.